I am deeply sorry that we failed to fulfill on our responsibility to our customers, to our team members, and to the American public. I accept full responsibility for all unethical sales practices in our retail banking business. And I am fully committed to fixing this issue, strengthening our culture, and taking the necessary actions to restore our customers' trust. And senators, let me tell you here today, the Wells Fargo Board is actively engaged in this issue. Do you acknowledge that the employees who engaged in this activity were committing fraud? You know, I'm not a, a criminal uh, uh, you know, officer, and I don't know the, 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 I'm not a lawyer, and I know the legal term. I know this. They broke our, our, our code of ethics. They were dishonest, and yep. we did everything we can to s support law enforcement so on these issues. So I'm, I'm not a lawyer either. Neither are most uh, adults in America, but um, I think most people understand the meaning of the word fraud. Did you fire no. any of those people? No. Okay, so you haven't resigned, you haven't returned a single nickel of your personal earnings, you haven't fired a single senior executive. Instead, evidently, your definition of accountable is to push the blame to your low-level employees who don't have the money for a fancy PR firm to defend themselves. It's gutless leadership. In your time as chairman and CEO, Wells has been famous for cross-selling. If one of your tellers took a handful of $20 bills out of the cash drawer, they'd probably be looking at criminal charges for theft. They could end up in prison. But you squeezed your employees to the breaking point so they would cheat customers and you could drive up the value of your stock and put hundreds of millions of dollars in your own pocket. And when it all blew up, you kept your job, you kept your multi-million dollar bonuses, and you went on television to blame thousands of $12 an hour employees who were just trying to meet cross-sell quotas that made you rich. This is about accountability. You should resign. You should give back the money that you took while this scam was going on, and you should be criminally investigated by both the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission. 